Hello, I'm JW, and in this video, plugs and, of course, sockets that they fit into. Now, this particular plug is a UK standard one. It's a BS1363, and, of course, the point of these is that they can be made by a whole load of different manufacturers, so that any plug bought from anywhere will, of course, fit into any socket bought from anybody else. And, of course, that's the whole point, because if they were different ones, it would be hugely inconvenient and very confusing. Of course, there are circumstances where it's necessary to have plugs and sockets which are not compatible with the general items on sale, such as in blocks of flats where you don't want the tenants to be stealing the electricity in the communal areas, or possibly in places like computer areas or hospitals where you don't want the cleaners plugging the vacuum cleaners, and obviously disconnecting some vital piece of equipment. And uh, to support this, there's a whole load of other plugs which, although similar to these, do have uh, certain variations, meaning you can't actually plug them into a standard outlet. So let's have a look at some of those. Now here's the standard UK plug, and uh, got the three pins there, line and neutral at the bottom, and the earth pin at the top. And uh, the earth pin is longer so that it can open the shutters, which are found on uh, all UK sockets. Uh, here's an example here, and you see it's got the covers over there, which inserting a pin here will cause those to open. And it's the earth pin which in most cases is actually altered so that the standard plug like this won't actually fit into a non-standard socket. And uh, here's an example which is actually made by MK. You can still buy these. This is a current uh, item that's still available. And as you see, the earth pin has a different shape. It's got this sort of T shape, so they've actually made it slightly uh, shorter. And then obviously it's got that wider T-shaped piece at the top. And of course this plug uh, does not fit in there. Of course that's the whole point. But obviously you need to buy the uh, appropriate plug, and here it is. And as you see there, it's got that uh, strange-looking T-shaped pin, which of course in this case will fit into the plug just no problem at all. This one also has the uh, alternative shutter mechanism, whereby you need to insert the earth pin here first. But uh, additionally, at the same time, you have to actually push the two pins in here simultaneously. If you just poke something there, you can't actually open those just by doing that. It's a sort of a three-way uh, opening mechanism, which... Uh, may or may not be slightly safer. And uh, this, say, this is a current type you can still buy. It's uh, readily available. And you can see there it's got the wording on which uh, states that you should only use it with the MK non-standard socket, which of course this is. However, another manufacturer does actually make these. Uh, this is made by Get, or part of the uh, Schneider Electric Group now, and it's the same design, and the MK plug it does actually fit into it perfectly well. So uh, again, that's... Uh, same style, but from a different manufacturer. Here's another design which you can still buy. It's uh, a round pin on the earth this time. Again, the line and neutral are exactly the same. And uh, this particular one is branded uh, RPP. You can probably just about see it on the top there. Now, these are uh, fairly commonly called uh, Wandsworth plugs. Uh, it's not entirely clear whether they actually invented the design, or they uh, certainly made them in this design anyhow. And uh, again, there's the uh, socket there, just with the round pin. Again, it's got the shutters and everything, so it's all exactly the same. And of course, inserting the pin just opens the shutters there like that, so the other pins can go in. Normally, you wouldn't be able to do that, because this is actually designed to fit into a panel, or trunking or something, so there also be a wider section around it, though this is just the actual uh, socket module itself. Now, uh, again, these can still be purchased. They're probably not as common as the uh, MK variety. And this is probably a better design because the earth pin in this case is blatantly different compared to, say, the MK one, although it's uh, certainly different in style. It's not immediately obvious at a glance, such as the round one is. And certainly the uh, click variety with that oval pin, again, it's definitely not uh, immediately obvious that it won't fit into a uh, standard socket, which could lead to people uh, just trying to shove uh, ordinary plugs in and damaging things. Now along that line here is another socket. This one is actually a Wandsworth item. It says so on the back here. I won't be able to get the angle there. So it's just white and white, unfortunately. But uh, this particular one has a square earth pin, which is uh, something slightly unusual. And again, that won't fit into the rectangular hole because it's uh, too wide. I don't have a socket that this fits into. But obviously, it's going to be just one with a square hole rather than a rectangular. I'm not sure of the age of this particular one. It's uh, not desperately old, but uh, again, it's just another variation on the changing the earth pin and keeping the others the same. Now, all of these plugs are uh, very substantially similar. They all have the uh, fuse inside, as is required with the uh, BS1363 variety. And again, that fuse can be uh, anything from uh, 1 to 13 amps, although 
3, 5 and 13 are obviously the more common options. This particular one here has a label stating it's a 13. The idea being supposed to change that if you don't need a 13, but sadly in most cases it will probably just be left as a 13 because uh, people can't generally be bothered. However, there's one other design which uh, doesn't change the earth pin. It actually changes all of the pins. And uh, here's the socket for it. Now it's got the same shape and uh, actual size of pins, but uh, the deal is that all of the pins have actually been rotated by 90 degrees. So if you compare this to the normal plug here, as you can see, there's no way that this is going to fit in there because uh, all of the pins are 90 degrees out of alignment with the correct one. And these are called Walsall gauges or Walsall uh, plugs and sockets, and it actually states it's on the front here. Maybe I'll to uh, zoom in and get a closer look there. So here we've got Walsall gauge and 13 amps. Now, of course, it's the uh, same sort of rating as the other ones. These are certainly uncommon. I don't believe they're actually manufactured anymore. This particular socket is uh, unused, but uh, it's been around for quite a while. Noticing it's got the red and black colouring for the uh, line and neutral rather than the current brown and blue. Uh, plugs for this, uh, of course, uh, can be obtained. Here is the plug for it. And again, it's just the uh, same size and length of pins. They've just simply been rotated by 90 degrees. And let's compare that to the uh, standard plug alongside. And obviously this fits in here no problem at all. Now on the top of this one you'll notice it actually has this printed on wording which is SP fuse which is for single pole and uh, this indeed does have uh, one fuse in in the line pin of course but uh, these are also available in double pole fuse varieties and uh, this would not have been used on the uh, 240 volt mains it would have generally been a uh, split type of supply so you would have uh, obviously the earth pin and then uh, a voltage on both of the pins relative to earth, say possibly 55 on each which give you 110 in total or various other options and in those there would be a fuse on both sides generally so that if there was a fault uh, one of the fuses of course uh, would blow. Now here's the uh, Walsall gauge plug and as you say it says Walsall on the back and obviously a Walsall gauge as well. This was the name of a manufacturing company which made these. Uh, there is still a company that uh, is called this although I don't think it has any particular relationship to the uh, original one. And uh, inside the plug you'll notice it's considerably wider at the top here. This is primarily so it could accommodate the uh, two fuses if required. Now this particular one only has the single fuse in here. It's a 13 amp. Notice it has the uh, Walsall logo on as well the terminal there and on this side of course for the neutral we've just got a single uh, terminal going directly to the pin of the plug there and uh, obviously earth at the top here but it's pretty obvious from the moulding here that if you wanted the uh, double pole fusing variety you would basically have a mirror image of this so the fuse would fit into here hence the extra spacing here and then just as we've got here with the pin offset to the side that obviously would go into the uh, side moulding here and again obviously the earth would be uh, just as it is at the top there flex grip on this, just a simple bar, there's a bit of uh, corrosion on this particular one and uh, of course there's the pins on the back which uh, do actually uh, drop out unfortunately as uh, is often the case with these devices. Now all of these plugs are based on the BS1363 standard but uh, of course none of them actually comply with it because even the ones with just the single changed earth pin of course it's still a different pin from the standard that requires and in this case of course all three pins although they're the same size and shape the alignment, of course, is totally different. Uh, this particular one does have a standard printed on here. It's not 1363, it's actually 5733, which refers to uh, plugs and sockets of various other types. And going back to that uh, SP fuse, which is printed on, of course, they use the same moulding for the double pole variety. Uh, 13 amps, 250 volts there, and that's obviously a maximum rating made in England. And at the bottom there, just the uh, indication that these are the screws of the cord grip rather than the uh, screw which holds it together which is that one in the centre. So let's look there at some non-standard uh, plugs and sockets in the style of BS 1363 but of course uh, not actually uh, complying with that and uh, in fact this particular MK one does actually state on it uh, complies with BS 1363 where relevant which of course does not include the earth pin. Now of course this isn't all of the uh, non-standard versions there have been several others uh, there's a uh, Crabtree one which for example you can buy which uh, although it's similar the earth pin is the one that's changed again and that is listed in their catalogue as allegedly plugging into uh, Britmac floor boxes although uh, I've personally never actually seen one of those plugs and the uh, catalogue I've seen is actually several years out of date and uh, there is also a, another Britmac plug 
which has a round earth pin and also one of the other pins is rotated by 45 degrees. Again, I've only ever seen a picture of those, never actually seen one in person. That certainly must be a fairly rare item. And of course, there may well be others as well. However, until next time, thanks for watching.